Try-catch is one way to handle errors that may be in your integration process, but we're going to look at even more error handling techniques to make sure you have a good understanding of how to build processes effectively. Error handling is important because despite our best efforts to avoid errors in our processes, they will happen and they are common. So we want to ensure processes will run properly. Errors can be categorized as recoverable or unrecoverable. Recoverable errors are errors that can be trapped and do not prevent further processing. Typically, these are design level errors. The try-catch shape allows you to trap these errors and continue processing. The majority of errors in Boomi processes are recoverable. Unrecoverable errors include those that are not handled through Boomi. Usually these are associated with Atom issues. And even the try-catch shape will not catch your Boomi server going down. Errors have some common characteristics. Errors are written to the process log. Unrecoverable errors are written to the process log after the runtime is brought back up. Errors are flagged with a red dot in process reporting and can display an error message. They will create an event in the account event log and may also send alert emails. Errors cause a document or the entire process to stop normal processing. Unless you have designed it, there is no automatic retry, alert, or notification. There are techniques to recover from errors, but once again, these must be designed and developed into the process. Errors can be handled via the try-catch shape, but do not appear in process logs as errors. Process errors are caused by connector connectivity errors or connector application responses. The exception shape with the stop single document option unchecked. A process error can occur with unhandled data process scripting exceptions. Process errors include incomplete process or component configuration, like a null pointer. And finally, connector errors on the start shape, where no documents are pulled into the process. Document errors are caused by mapping or data errors, script errors, or data format errors. They can also be caused by connector connectivity errors or by connector application responses at the document level. Document errors can also be caused by the exception shape when stop a single document is checked. Atom runtime errors are caused by a server crash, a JVM heap out of memory, or when the disk is full. Process errors are errors that halt the process and all documents immediately. The scope of the error is the entire process, not a set of documents. Nothing will get processed unless there's a try-catch shape that will process the document down the catch path. After a process error, no other shapes are executed and the entire process will be halted. All documents fail, and it's important to note that there is no checkpoint or commit mechanism, so any shapes that did not successfully execute prior to the error shape are not rolled back, unless you have an external mechanism to do so. Process errors can be caused by connectivity errors in the connector, 
or platform, platform errors like an atom failure or a loss of connectivity. Let's look at an example of a process error. We have two documents brought into the process. The documents travel to the branch shape and are copied. The first set of documents reach the Salesforce connector but fail. This may be because the login is invalid or the account has been locked out. So all documents fail and the execution is ended. The next type of error is document error. These errors halt the error document or documents. And the scope of the error is the document and that specific document that no longer continues processing, except with the try catch shape. The impact is that only a specific document halts and is no longer processed. Again, there's no rollback for previous shapes. Some common causes of document errors are mapping, script errors, data format errors, and connector errors. Here's the same process we saw, but focusing on a specific document error. Two documents enter the process. The documents flow to the branch shape and are copied. The documents reach the Salesforce connector, but one document fails, so one document is inserted and continues. This failure could be due to the document missing a required field, or it could be a data issue. Only the copy of the document that successfully completed the first branch will flow down the second branch. Many of these error concepts are based on the concepts of document flow and what constitutes a document. When the original document fails, all documents associated, that is, all that have the same document ID, will also fail. An original document consists of all document uh, logical records made up in the document start shape or the source document. Batching and splits can impact the scope of document error failure. The try-catch shape changes the impact of document errors by resetting the document IDs. So then only the document that failed will stop processing. Now let's take a look at an example where we have an error when a document is split. A single batch document with two records is retrieved into the process. The document is split by the data process shape into two documents. The documents are copied at the branch shape. The first set of documents flow down the first branch to the Salesforce connector. And once again, one document fails but this time all documents that were from the original document fail. So even the copied set of documents waiting at the branch shape will fail. The third type of error is the atom error. A runtime event is one that will halt the process at inception and these errors are not recoverable or caught in the process. They effectively cause a process level error. All document processing is halted and a failure event is reported once the atom comes back online. During a process execution, any activities at the atom operational level that fail, irrespective of the design of the process, would be considered an atom error and generally would be caused by a lack of atom resources. Examples of this type include the JVM running out of heap, an atom that's out of memory or writable disk space, or if the server is disconnected.